Hello and welcome. My name is George and my channel is all about helping you get the most out of Logic Pro so that you can record and produce your best music in your home studio. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily change the track icons in Logic Pro as well as add your own custom icons. So let's dive in. So here I've got one of my templates loaded up and if I zoom in a little bit here you can see that I have different icons based on the different instruments that I have in this template. And if I want to change any of these, uh, for example if I go up here to these strings, there's two ways I can change it. I can either go up here under track in the inspector and click that and here you'll see the icon and I simply click on that and here I can change this to whatever I'd like. So if I want to change it to a harp, then change it to a harp, for example. If you're not seeing the inspector area right here, you can simply press the letter I on your keyboard and that'll show and hide that. Or you can go up to the little I icon up here, which does the same thing. The other way to change the icon is to simply right click on the icon here and that brings up the same menu and you can choose any of these icons that you'd like. Now if you want to add your own custom icon all you have to do is go down to the bottom here hit custom icon and then add them here. So I'll click the little plus button that'll open up a finder window and you can simply go find an image file to apply your own icon. And now I can select my own icon and there you go. So that's all there is to it in order to change or add your own custom icons to your tracks. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave those in the comment box below. And if you want to improve your workflow in Logic Pro, don't forget to download my free Logic Pro hotkey cheat sheet by following the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.